Hello everybody, welcome to Scribbles with Jonathan, I'm your host, Jonathan Rector. You can check out my website and my work at jonathanrector.com. And uh, we're going back to the good stuff of just a quick progress video. This was a sketch of um, my favorite Marvel superhero, uh, let alone superhero in general. Usually it goes Spider-Man and the Hulk, flip-flop back and forth, but I'm always a big fan. I've always been a big fan of the Hulk. Um, so here, uh, we're using Manga Studio. Uh, this is a 600 DPI image, not that that really matters, but some of you guys like to know the the technical specs and all that good stuff of it. Um, and it's coming a little bit harder to see, but uh, this is usually how I work. It's just a, a pen that I'm using right here on the sketch layer, so it's all blue. And uh, we're going to go in here and we're just kind of gesturing in some of the, the power and the weight. I had no idea really what he was going to be doing, but as the piece started to come together, uh, I realized I was going to toss a giant boulder above him like he's holding it, kind of ready to like shot put it forward or something. So I'm kind of playing around with the hands there. Not quite sure where things are going to go. Um, even with his head there, I had the hair, you know, just, just give it that, that quick gesture where it's going. So here I go, I just, I'm roughing in that giant rock that's going to be above him. And he's going to have his hands like dug in it like a bowling ball. And uh, what we're going to do really quickly here is I'm just lowering the opacity, and I didn't like the way the legs were. So I just uh, lowered the opacity, made a new layer, and just started sketching in new, new legs until I found something that I liked. And here I was just trying to gesture a little bit more energy in there, and I broke the knee up where that would go. And uh, you can see it right there. And all I did there was erase the layer that was underneath it, the original sketch layer, and just got rid of the legs and then merged the two together so now that they're all in the same layer. And this is really cool, especially digital. Um, this would kind of be a pain after a while with a pencil, but uh, it's not that it's not doable. It's just a little bit of a, you know, like I said, like a pain, especially when you're using an eraser and all that good stuff. It starts to smear and the integrity of the paper kind of can, anyway, get a little iffy. So I'm just tightening up the anatomy, just getting a little bit more idea, a solid idea of where things are going to go. Just putting those knuckles there. Uh, I wasn't really feeling the hand. Again, same, same idea as with uh, what I was doing with the legs. Just keep erasing, making new layers. Uh, you know, there's different ways of doing it, but um, yeah, I was just working on different layers. They're just trying to get the, you know, those sausage fingers, if you call them. You know, it's easy to think about the hands as little sausages and putting them into the rock. And here I'm putting the mouth. Um, even as you see as we go, uh, I should say as well, this is part one. There will be part two. Um, I'm not 100% sure at the time that I'm doing the recording here, the first episode, how I feel about the face. Um, in the next recording, once I give this some time to settle, I'll probably do a new layer and redraw the head. Uh, it looks a little, I don't want to say realistic because it's not, but it's not really the style of the Hulk that I normally like to draw. I like my Hulk to be more of like a, a, a gorilla, you know, like a big monkey. Um, just huge, smaller head. The head is pretty small here, but I feel like you, you guys will see as we start slapping the inks down on there, the finished lines of uh, the Hulk. There's certain things I'm not personally feeling about it. You guys might like it, which would be, you know, is awesome, and some of you hopefully don't like it. So I'm not the only one that doesn't really like it 100%. So here we go. I have it. I'm ready to start throwing my inking down. So I just made it bigger and uh, made a new layer and just grabbed the inks and or the, the I think I'm using the Maru Maru brush brush. Maru Brush. Wow, that's difficult to say. Um, I can show you guys the stats and all that good stuff if you guys are interested in that, of course. And here we're just going in there, working on the face some more. Just again, working on the details. Just kind of, you know, stretching out the face. I'm struggling. You can see right there that I'm struggling with it. Um, just things about the face, like I said, they just weren't jiving. And this kind of inking as well is is really different than how I would how I normally ink my comic pages. I usually, if you were to use traditional inking tools, you probably use something like a, a micron or like a, you know, something that's like a flat tip. It doesn't have like any kind of line variation as if like, you know, like with like a brush would. It's just whatever thickness the brush is or, or the marker would be in that sense, like the micron, and just kind of go like that. I'm finding here as I'm using the brush tool, uh, I'm getting line variation in there, which is great. You know, I'm able to get some really sweet effects pretty quick. However, it's kind of screwing with my light source because I like to have like an idea of where my line is and then towards the end or as I'm drawing it I can slowly start to think in my in my own mind where I'd like to put some of the shadows and working like this it kind of takes it away especially if you guys have gone back and seen how I like to do my uh, shading and I, I think we just did a block shadow video uh, last week I was kind of talking about that and here just working on the hands getting them all meaty and crushy and you know gnarly and all that good stuff. Yep, so going in there, doing all, doing our, you know, I don't want to spend too much time rendering and shading, but you'll see towards the end as well, I actually go into the face and I start doing some, some rendering and some light source, which is, uh, I don't know, this is a sketch, so, you know, I don't want to say it's a huge no-no, but usually I like to hold off on that, 
um, because I find that I rush into it. It's really, e- or it's really easy to rush into doing all the really cool effects, like all in there, that meaty, gnarly rib bone and muscle there. There's a lot of line variation going in there, which is essentially establishing my light source right off the crack. Um, that light source would not work if the light was coming from the bottom, so now I'm, I have to, by default, unless I erase it, have to have the light going from the top. And as you saw there, I just put some extra shading underneath his pec because of that one effect that I did on the ribs, which is, in turn, um, essentially because I'm using that brush that has that sensitivity turned on to it. So it's not, it's not, I'm not able to get like a total control. Probably sounds like I'm complaining right now. Um, and here you go, you can see I'm going in there and I'm just tightening up the face a little bit, and it's a little bit more rendering, which I probably shouldn't be doing. And here I'm putting some shadow again on, on his gums. Um, going in there, adding some jaw lines and stuff. And I think I go in there with some white as well. And I start to kind of paint inside that black just to break some of the areas up. Like right there, it's starting to look like he's got some big, thick eyebrows. I really don't like my Hulk with eyebrows. I know the old Jack Kirby is more like a Frankenstein monster with the eyebrows, which is which is fine. Uh, but I don't know. There's something to me about... The, I think it was a Dale Keown, if I'm saying his name right. The way he drew the Hulk way back in the day. Just huge. Just massive. Um, that's that, You know, it's a style choice. And that's the kind of Hulk I like. And here I'm just adding, again, more detail. Here we're going to put some uh, a quick vein over all his uh, muscles. I don't know how many of these I'm going to do. These can be a little tricky, but uh, that's it for now. Stay tuned for the next video next week. Take care, you guys. Keep reading comics. Keep making comics, and we'll talk soon. Bye.